I know that you hear a lot about shadow banning, demonetization. There are a lot of chicken littles out there. But I do want to at least inform you uh, in case this channel goes away for good as to why and as to just how easily possible it could be for us to be gone from YouTube tomorrow. Um, we've received what could potentially be three hard strikes. We have a screenshot here for one parody video, uh, the Dr. Trump music video that we did in the span of a week. And unless we come to terms with YouTube and the corporate overlords, uh, YouTube rules say that three strikes gets your channel removed. Now, I want to be clear, I'm not exactly sure in this instance if it counts as three strikes or just one since we used this same video three times in a commercial break. Uh, we have half Asian lawyer Bill Richmond attempting to establish communication with them. I, 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 I don't know exactly. Uh, hopefully we can work it out. I want to make clear here, this is completely a parody under the umbrella of fair use. We have some, some B-roll here where we can show you what we, we actually um, created the track from the ground up. We have a project file yeah. that you guys can see. We went and we created this entire music video from scratch. This wasn't just, we didn't just take a karaoke track. And by the way, it has to be comparable enough to the original to be a parody. There are channels that subsist on parodies alone. And right here, I, you can actually see an example of Jimmy Fallon did a, a Bernie parody, Old Town Road, uh, side by side with ours. Look, they have a $30 million operating just budget million. and ours is you, Mug Club. So I want to be clear, this might not be an exact example uh, of an instance here of anti-conservative bias, okay? But when you pair it with disproportional targeting, uh, tar targeting of, of, of the rest of our content for being, quote, what they term now, on the border, and the issues with notifications that have been happening, the demonetization specifically targeting our opinions as unpopular speech, at least in Silicon Valley, when you, at, when you take this, the, total, the culmination, it renders us unable to create a show for you and... If it keeps going this way, the channel will cease to exist. Now, what we do here is very different, as is our relationship with, with corporate censorship. Take for, example, take, for example, let me give you an example, a pure comedy channel out there that only does the occasional parody. Yeah, you know, this kind of thing would hurt them, it would suck, wouldn't be debilitating. Mm -hmm. Take more conservative-leaning channels um, that maybe they've seen some radical demonization based on a point of view. We know that happens quite a bit, uh, but one that doesn't do comedy. It'd be hard but they can find other ways to generate revenue. Let's think of a channel that has 50 million subscribers and they find out that their notifications like ours are broken or that yep. YouTube changed an algorithm to throttle their organic search views or related content views. It would suck, not be crippling. But we experience all of that and we experience it daily. And even more, the rules keep changing. YouTube claims that there isn't an anti-conservative bias, that they want to have conservatives on the platform, but that they want to encourage a healthy discussion. Okay, I wanna take that at face value. But they demonetize and restrict the change my mind videos. <laughs> Genuinely, here's a question wow. to you. This isn't a victim complex. We're trying to play by the rules. Let me ask you something. If a conservative cannot create a long form, unedited, no profanity, civil dialogue segment like change my mind without being punished, how can conservatives create content for YouTube? What content could possibly be acceptable? I'm trying to figure it out. And it's been a tiring week. And this is why Mug Club is more important than ever. You can join up at lottoscrider.com slash mug club. Support the show. You get access to the full daily show, not broadcast on YouTube. You get this wonderful, girthy, hand-etched mug and uh, the entire Blaze TV catalog and lineup. Um, and it'll allow us to continue to create this kind of content regardless of monetization on YouTube. And equally important, it allows us to fight legally to change these draconian rules, which hurt not just us and not just conservatives, but independent creators. And it's also what allows us to continue to change people's minds on YouTube by allowing us to throw caution to the wind on monetization and uploading anyway. We don't care, we don't care if we're, we're monetized or not because we're monetized by you. That's how we have a parody that's better than a $30 million operating budget. No offense to Jimmy Fallon, <laughs> but that sucked. <laughs> and right now, by the way, we're for the next 24 hours, we're offering uh, $20 off uh, to anyone who joins. Just enter in the promo code at lottofcreditor.com slash mug. The promo code, I think, is 20, 20, 20 for, for everyone. everyone. Number two yep. zero for everyone. Or, and listen, this is the alternative. You don't join up. Um, this show as you know it. I would, we no longer be able to produce it. We've reached a crossroad unless people join uh, Mug Club. We can't do this show, these segments, on YouTube or any platform. Uh, sure, listen, I could lay off the 15 people, staff and crew, and just talk into a camera without any sketches, any parody, satire, on location videos, change my mind, or even so much as ever addressing a controversial issue. I could do that. But that's not the show that this crew has worked so hard to create for you. And you've made it clear that it's not the show that you want from us. And you've made it clear not just to us, but to YouTube. 
And that's equally important, that's probably more important. You've made it clear to YouTube that this is the content you want. And it's not a violation of any rules. That's not what we set out to do. And I, I know people often say, we hear this a lot, like, well, why don't you just upload your stuff to, to BitChute or insert yeah. any other streaming site of the day here? And we can, and sometimes we do, sometimes. as a safety. Yeah. But it doesn't help us in any way create content going forward. That's like telling someone whose consumer electronics were banned from stores, well, you can just, you can just give it away at a flea market. I, we could. <laughs> The only way this continues, well, we're, right now we're standing on the barrel of three potential copyright strikes. Hopefully half Asian lawyer does what half Asian lawyer does, but you can help by uh, joining up at Mug Club. We created it deliberately, by, by the way, to not be a Patreon or PayPal or GoFundMe. A lot of people have said, well, why don't you do Patreon? Or, you know, when all of the conservatives were doing that, we pointed out, it's just rattling a tin cup on another big tech platform and they can give you the boot. And as we've seen, now they are giving many conservative voices the shaft. Mug Club is something that we created to be completely independent, totally immune to the censorship, and I'll say it, deceptive trade practices that you see from big tech. We've partnered with dozens of other conservative voices so that we can hopefully make it financially viable for decades to come. I know some of you have been on the fence and $7 a month is, is not nothing. I get it. But also, it's been a worrisome time for everyone involved here at this show. When you, when you wake up and find out, oh, crap, three hard strikes, our channel could be gone within 10 days. Yeah. And it's particularly accelerated in recent months after the Oscars live stream. And you know what? We all know here, we've all accepted that it's going to get worse. I promise you this. You join up at Mug Club. You support us. Uh, I, we, all of us here, will continue to create content for as long as humanly possible and continue to fight these rules and the oppressive corporate overlords until our coffers are completely empty. For years, this channel's been up for years, we've, we've done it exclusively because of you. And going forward, we can't do it without you. Hey there, if you like this video, this is the part where I would usually tell you to subscribe, but... I can't do it anymore. I'm gonna tell you to subscribe, and then YouTube is going to decide that we can't reach you even though you subscribe to this channel, and then I'll say hit the notification bell, and then the notification bell won't even be there anymore, I don't know what to say. More than likely you'll find my face in a milk carton, but do what you can to stop it. It's just, it's just, it probably won't do much.